Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on writing data pipelines with Ketro. This is your host, Data Engineer One, and in these videos, we're trying to teach you guys how to use Ketro and how to become better data engineers. So in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is auto-generating our data catalog using Ketro. So Kedro comes with a data catalog. And normally, the way that you, you populate this data catalog is you use the catalog.yaml file. And now when you use this catalog.yaml file, it gives you access to all the different data sets that you're going to want to use inside of your Kedro pipeline. So as you can see, having a well fully fleshed out data catalog is very, very important for the different transformations and the different data sciencing that you want to do. However, the catalog.yaml file has its limits. Number one, it's actually not dynamic. It's a static file. So that means that if you want to be able to have dynamic data sets, you can't do that with the, with the YAML. Number two, if you have a lot of tables, then it's going to be actually very difficult to manage that YAML file. You have to manually edit the YAML file, and this can lead to a lot of like human error as a result. So what you want to be able to do is programmatically add data sets to your catalog. And so this will allow you to um, have dynamically populated data sets in your catalog. So you can do something like, for example, uh, pulling data from the internet, putting it into your Kedro pipeline, populating your data catalog, and then accessing your data sets in this way, right? So it gives you access to um, some like uh, dynamic populating um, capabilities. And if you have custom data sets inside of Kedro, this means that you have a lot of really great ways to connect all of your tooling together. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in today's video, what we're going to be covering is we're just going to show a very simple example of populating your uh, data catalog using a very simple YAML file. And so the way that we're going to be doing it is we're going to be creating a YAML file that will list uh, a list of our data sets. We can call this my data sets that YAML file. And these data sets are going to be very simple. They're just going to have some names. The name is like hello world. Another name is going to be, you know, good night moon. And then um, the last name is going to be um, twinkle my stars. Okay. Um, great. So this is going to be what I'm going to call our collection of data sets. So these are the data sets that we want to populate into the catalog. Let's just pretend in this case, these are all text data sets, and we have all of the uh, data for them. We're just going to pretend that's the case. That might not be the case of this particular example, but let's just pretend that that is. Okay, so the next step is how are we actually going to add these, these data sets into our catalog? Well, Kedro comes with the Kedro context. Uh, this is the context that Kedro uses in order to determine uh, the pipelines, the nodes, like basically all of the information about your pipeline, about your Kedro project is contained in this Kedro context. And so this is available for to us inside of the source slash project name. Um, let's go right here, source, project name, in this case it's auto catalog, and inside of the run.py folder. Um, I'm sorry, the run.py file. So that's here, here, and then we go to vim source, auto catalog, run.py. I don't know why it didn't show up last time. Here it is very clearly. You have this project context, right? And the function that we're going to be overriding here is the get catalog function. And if you see below the get catalog function, you have the get pipelines function. So this is actually where we're calling the create pipelines function that we that we create inside of the dot pipeline um, module inside of the actual project. So that's the that's that main create pipelines function. Uh, so in our catalog, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be calling the super version of this so we can get the catalog already set up. We don't have to worry about the arguments and stuff. And this will give us a copy of the catalog. So now that we have a copy of the catalog, let me just show you what it looks like when we add in a very simple data set. So we're actually not going to do any auto-populating in this case. What we're going to do instead 
is just add in the file. And so this was that was actually an accident. Um, what we're going to be we what we're going to be doing is basically doing something like this. We're going to be saying like fake data, and then the type of this data is going to be kedro dot extras dot text dot um, I'm sorry data sets dot text dot text data set with a with the file path being just somewhere in the data fake data. So basically, this is what we're going to be recreating inside of our our um, our project context. So we're actually not going to be writing that inside of the catalog. It'll actually just be in the context. So notice I did not write that in the catalog in inside of the catalog.yaml, but rather here in this auto catalog, we're going to add it here, and we can do catalog.add, and we're, we got to make sure that we're also importing the Kedro extras. Um, text, I'm sorry, data sets dot text, import text data set. And we're going to be adding this data set using a name. And so this name will be fake data, for example, and then text data set with the file path equal to data slash fake data. So that's just one of the files there. And then we can add that to our catalog in this way. Now, notice I'm not actually going to add it into the catalog using the YAML file. Um, and so the final step that we need to do here to make sure that we can see this is we actually need to add this into our pipeline. So Kedra doesn't show on Kedra Viz unless there's a pipeline. We're going to add one more data set called fake data, data output. It'll just be the same thing. Uh, and then we're going to modify our pipeline here. Um, this is going to be source on a catalog pipeline.py. So here's our basic pipeline. This is the create pipeline that is being called by the project context. What we're going to do here is we're just going to add in a new node. And that node is going to just be a very simple Lambda function. It's just the identity function. And then we're going to use fake data as the input and then fake data output as the output. Now, before I run this function, or rather before I write this function, what we're going to do is we're going to just take a quick look at our Kedro catalog that's over here. Um, sorry, when I say Kedro catalog, I mean the Kedro pipeline. And as you can see, it's completely blank. But now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing this file. We're going to restart our Kedro viz, and then we're going to open up our window again once more and we're going to reload and we can see that fake data and lambda and fake data output have been added to the pipeline okay so going back to the code what we're going to do is we're actually going to read in that yaml file so how are we going to read in the yaml file well actually very simply um, what we're going to be using is the uh, config loader. So the config loader is part of the context. It's how Kedro reads all the configurations inside of your conf uh, base and conf local folders. Uh, so very simply, we're just going to have config loader um, load the file for our my data sets, right? My data sets file, and that is by self config loader dot get, and then we want to say my data sets star. And so that will just make sure that the output, um, sorry, the uh, name of the config data set is uh, ignores that ending. Uh, we're just going to glob that pattern. And so as you can see here, um, conf base my data sets YAML is the target file. So we get that my data sets file. And then my data sets itself is going to be the my data sets file with the key my data sets. And this comes from um, this part over here, where we have it on line two. My data sets is the main key that keeps the list. So now this my data sets is a, a complete list of the uh, name entries here. So what we can say is for a data set in my data sets. Let's go ahead and add that to the catalog. So catalog.add, and we're going to say data set name. So that we can say the name um, is going to be just another text data set. Again, this this actually um, we're not actually going to have real data in this case. This is just an example. And then, so this is going to be data, 
uh, data set. Uh, we actually just say data, data. We're just going to use data, data for now. And then we're also going to add an output for those data sets. The reason we're adding an output is so that we can call the input and output versions inside of our pipeline. So let's go ahead and write this. And now here's a cool little trick. What we're going to be doing is since we're calling the create pipelines function here, um, which is coming from here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually just pass into this our config loader, or rather our my data sets um, configuration file. And we're going to be loading that from config loader, get loader, my data sets, star. Um, and then we're also going to be calling directly the my data sets attribute getter. And so that'll pass that in. So we're basically taking these two lines here. Um, we actually just pasting them here. And then we're just adding that in so that we can just grab the my data sets right inside of the create pipeline. And so here from our quarks, we're going to have my data sets is equal to quarks my data sets. And then we can do exactly the same thing as we did previously here, where we do a for loop that says for data set in my data sets, we're going to just do something like uh, create a set of nodes, right? Or rather, we can do it like this data sets pipeline is equal to a pipeline. And we can just make this Pythonic, where we can say for data set in my data sets. We're going to create a new node, which is also just going to be lambda x, x. And the input is going to be exactly as we've written down here, um, data set name as the input. And then the output is going to be data set name plus output. Right? And so before we write this one more time, what I want to do is I just want to show you that, again, uh, when we reload, this, I'm going to reload Kedro really quickly. Kedro viz, that is. So you should see the blank viz in just a sec. And then now, when we're restarting Kedro, it should pop back up. And then we only have one pipeline. But as soon as we write our new pipeline here, which is creating these new data sets. And then adding it to the default pipeline, data sets pipeline. Adding to the default pipeline, we should see several new nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and um, restart Ketro this. This. It's not going to come up. And then once it pops up, after it finishes loading, um, oops, it seems like we have a small syntax error, and also my light is having a syntax error. Um, and that's because actually, uh, admittedly, I mistakenly forgot a comma. I'm sorry, not a comma. I forgot to close the parentheses here. So we can close that. We're going to rerun this. And we should see back inside of our window here, Kedrovis, our three new pipelines. And this is the good night moon, hello world, twinkle my stars. Okay, uh, so that was a very quick run through for how we can auto auto generate catalog entries as well as nodes in your catcher pipeline. I hope you guys learned something and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, and if you like this video, go ahead and click like. And if you'd like to see more of this content, I would really love if you guys subscribe. Okay, take care now. Bye-bye everyone.